Runners and riders for the third race, the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup, have just entered the parade ring now. And uh, this is a race for Class 1 horses. That's horses of the highest class. And they'll be running over 1,400 meters. So we've really had fun games and excitement here from the very beginning. And in the second race itself, we really had a blast when we saw Stockwell doing a Houdini act as he climbed out from underneath. And here's the lineup for the Class 1 Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. Number one, Al Kazaba, being ridden by Kishore Kadam. Number two, Mehran, being ridden by Suganathan. Number three, Spearhead, being ridden by Mahesh. Number four, Windstream, being ridden by Farhan Alam. Number five, Charlemagne, being ridden by Vishwanath. And number six, Augustus, being ridden by Umesh. That's the lineup here for this uh, Class 1 Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. And the runners and riders are already in the parade ring. We're just waiting for them to move out shortly. But I hope you're having a great time here. We've got beautiful weather. The rain's holding back. And it's uh, a lovely cloudy morning with the sun peeking out and playing hide and seek through the clouds every now and then. And this is the big one on the agenda today, the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. And uh, it's going to be presented by none other than the Honorable Minister for Sport, Mr. Dayaseri Jayasekara. So we've got everybody here. All roads are virtually led to the Royal Turf Club race course in Norelia. It's party time, it's fun time, and it's also race time. So runners and riders now will be moving out of the parade ring pretty shortly for the start of this uh, third race. That's the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. That's uh, number three spearhead you see on your screen. That's Al Kazaba. He's had a very, very good festival of racing season. Al Kazaba sporting the colors of Deepthika Jakodi, who was the leading owner. Following her out there is number three spearhead. Both of them from the stable of SBA Raju. And uh, coming out now is Mehran sporting the all green silks with the green cap. <laughs> so that's number two, Mehran, third in the lineup there in all green. Windstream will be sporting the colors green with the pink sash and blue sleeves. <laughs> and the riderless and blindfolded Mehran still being a little cussed there, not wanting to get into those gates. He's not playing up, but he's being quite mulish. <laughs> And as they say in rugby, he's got the weight advantage at the moment. So the handler's trying what they can, but this is a 450 kilo thoroughbred. And if he decides he wants to go in the other direction, it's a little difficult pointing him in the right one. But the handler's doing a fantastic job there on the riderless uh, Mehran. Mehran has been pushed in without the rider, the jockey getting back in the saddle. They just wait now for the riderless Charlemagne and Al Kazaba. <laughs> Al Kazaba carrying top weight and Charlemagne to go in without the rider. He was playing up a bit before the start of this race. The blinds have been put on the riderless Charlemagne as he's walked up. <coughs> and it's now Charlemagne's turn to be a little cussed there as he turns away from the gates. But this time round, the handlers get him in, so Charlemagne has been stalled without the rider, the jockey getting back in the saddle. Last one in will be the top-weighted Al Kazaba. Al Kazaba comes to complete the line. They're all in for this Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. 
And they're off and racing for the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. A very level break by all the runners. And it's uh, Charlemagne on the outside, the early leader there from Spearhead, very close to them. Then came Mehran. Right behind them there was uh, Al Kazaba, followed there by Augustus. But as they come into view now after rounding the first turn, and uh, Charlemagne just the leader, Augustus joins him on the outside, Spearhead is third, about three lengths adrift, then is Al Kazaba, five lengths behind, we go back there to uh, Stormy, uh, to Windstream, and way behind in the rear there to uh, Mehran in the rear. They go past the 800 meter marker, Charlemagne rests the advantage again by about a length and a, by about a length there from Augustus in second. Spearhead is a very close third, a very close fourth then is Al Kazaba, a big gap of almost a distance behind and we go back there to Windstream and a distance away then to Mehran in the rear. They're beginning to negotiate the turn now and Charlemagne has kicked away now by about three and a half lengths. Al Kazaba detaching herself from the others to move into second. Spearhead still there in third. Augustus has dropped back into fourth and the rest are out of it. Round the turn now into the straight. Charlemagne just the leader and here comes Al Kazaba with a determined run on the outside. But is she going to collar him with about 150 to run and Charlemagne is the king here in the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. Going for the line, it's all Charlemagne as he wins comfortably from Al Kazaba in second. Spearhead was third, then came Mehran, followed there by Windstream and Augustus. So once again, we've had a front runner who's come out to win the third race of the morning here in Calcutta, in, in Nuralia. We had uh, Charlemagne running start to finish, jumping to the front as the gates opened, taking up the running. And after that, he just kicked on to win it quite comfortably in the end. So no question about it, no hard luck stories here. Charlemagne won the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup here in great style. And we're getting a slight drizzle now in uh, Nuralia. The cloud is coming over. We've had great weather till now. Let's hope this is going to be just a passing drizzle, which is going to pass. <coughs> but here they are coming back, and there was no question about it. Charlemagne was the champion. Charlemagne crowned himself to win. That's the results of the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup. Number five, Charlemagne first. Number one, Al Kazaba second. And number three, Spearhead fourth. So that was the one, two, three with Charlemagne ruling the turf here in the Sports Ministry Challenge Cup, winning it from start to finish. No hard luck stories at all. So quite a coincidence as we see front running horses win for the third time in succession. And this, of course, gives the Anjali Stables of James Matthew a double with uh, Charlemagne coming out to deliver the goods. He carries the same colors as uh, Stormy Petrol, who won the first race, and uh, Charlemagne, once again, written here by Vishwanath, trained by Madhya Lagan. So, a professional double and an owner double here already as they return in triumph. Charlemagne has been crowned the king of the Sports Ministry Challenge Trophy, and uh, there's much more excitement coming your way. That's the finish, which you just saw in front of you, but... Uh, Charlemagne returning in triumph here. He's really done it in style. There was no question about it. Vishwanath got him out in front. He jumped him smartly from that gate. And uh, he was drawn five once again. So there you have it. The first three winners have all been drawn from stall number five. And that's quite a coincidence. But that's the final list there. Charlemagne first. Al Kazaba number one. Second. Number three, Spearhead, was third. So on this opening day of the racing season here at Nurelia, at the Royal Turf Club, at the race course, it's Charlemagne who's uh, delivered the goods and he's delivered them in great style, winning very comfortably in the end from start to finish.